What is up everybody? This is Matt with the Hardcover Comic and tonight I got something super exciting to show you guys. I got my binds in. So first up we have Impulse Volume 1. Now the kind of story, uh, the backstory behind this was that I started to collect Impulse for my 11 year old and I was going to bind them for him and then they announced, oh the Mark Wade Impulse Omni and I was like, oh I'll just wait and get the official. Well then the official never came out, they cancelled it. So uh, luckily I just kept collecting the singles and then I got them bound. So this right here is Impulse Volume 1. Got the Wade Ramos there. These were all bound by Herring and Robinson, so they do have the Oversown binding. Get that kind of dusty thing out of the way there. Mike is going to design some awesome dust jackets for me, so I'm super excited about that. I actually need to get the measurements over to him tonight. But there's the spine. Here's the headbands and tailbands. You got the red and white with the white ribbon with the you know the red buckram cloth. Didn't do anything fancy as far as like table of contents or anything like that. Um, kept it pretty simple, honestly. First time using Herring and Robinson. Um, I've always heard good things, but yeah, I just really wanted to kind of keep everything really, uh, really clean and simple. So this is volume one. Look at that lays right, lays open right there. First try. So my 11 year old is super excited. He's been getting more and more into comics and he really always dig the you know the idea of the character of impulse so he's he's uh really excited to check this out and this will tie in well with all my you know all my uh oops, sorry about the camera there this will tie in well with all my uh other books that i'm doing with robin and superboy and you know all of them i'm gonna be basically doing young justice <laughs> but it's also for me I, I say it's for him, but it's really also for me. Um, so then we have volume two. So this is volume two of Impulse. You got the white buckram cloth with the red writing this go around. Kept it with the red and white head and tail bands, but then you got the red bookmark. So the idea behind this was that me and my son wanted to alternate colors. So I we went red, white. This is a three volume set, so I we went red, white, red. Um... But yeah, so right off the bat, opens right up, lays flat pretty much. Really amazing job with this. I'm super excited. Like I said, the first time I've used them. Um, the customer service was, I got to admit, their customer service was hands down some of the greatest ever. Um, the minute I emailed them, they responded within like 15 minutes. Um, every time I had sent something out to them. Um, whenever I sent like the books out to them, I would receive an email stating like, hey, we received your books in the mail, just FYI. As you guys can see, there's really no gutter loss, which is awesome. Um, also, when I called them to pay for the books, um, I dialed the number and when Jim, the guy who I've been dealing with, when he answered the phone, he actually answered the phone and went, hey, Matt, how's it going? And I went, uh, <laughs> like, wasn't expecting that. That's some killer caller ID. Um, so anyways, yeah, really amazing customer service. Herring and Robinson. I got these three binds done the way, or well, four binds done, uh, for a grand total of 129. Um, I did have a gift certificate and stuff that I utilized, but, uh, for everything that I got done for 129, I'm not complaining at all. Uh, next up we have Impulse Volume 3. So once again, we're going back to the red cloth with the white writing. Again, you know, obviously kept everything very simple. And this collects the entire run of Impulse. Uh, I think it was like 89 issues plus like the millionth issue and then some annuals and things thrown in. I didn't collect, like, there's a couple like tie-in like flash issues and things like that. Um, I didn't really collect those. Like I said, this is mainly for my 11-year-old. We kept it really simple with just the, just the, you know, the straight up Impulse, um, main run is really all we kind of did on this one but took out all the ads minus unless they weren't um like ads like this for instance where you can't really take them out but all the double-sided ads i did remove when i prepped them all i prepped everything myself and then sent them in herring and robinson will definitely be getting more of my business i'm super excited uh fast turnaround too i think i sent these off mid-january and so like what not even eight weeks and i got them back um, which brings me to my fourth bind that I got, which this one I actually got back in the matter of like three weeks because I did put it rushed. I paid a little bit extra, so I guess it would have been 119 but I paid an extra 10 bucks to have rush done on this because the plan was to take this to Planet Comic Con. 
Unfortunately, Planet Comic Con has been postponed till August, so I really didn't need to get it rushed. Um, but that's all right. I'm happy to have it back. And that is none other than Superboy with uh, Volume 1, Carl Kessel, Tom Grummet. Um, I did pay like an extra 6 or $7 to have the Superman stamp in there. Or in this case, the Superboy stamp. Um, went with that, you know, that navy blue cloth with the red writing. Just solid red headbands, tailbands. I thought about, you know, like getting like the dual colors there for a while. And I was like, nah, I just went with a straight red. And then the red bookmark. Um, I was debating kind of a yellowish. And then I just felt like the yellow would just kind of throw it off too much. So I just kept it real simple, like I said, with the blue and the red. Um, so this collects the the first run that Carl Kessel did, uh, which I believe was through issue, I want to say issue 30, um, if I remember correctly. But it was all of his first run that he did before he left the comic and then came back later on. So this just collects basically all of his, all of his first run. Again, um, I did remove... Um, double-sided ads and things like that. Everything else. Now, the one thing that did annoy me about this, as you guys can see here, right? This is gorgeous. You gotta love it. Newspaper print. As soon as you get to this issue, all of a sudden it turns into glossy. And you go, oh, what the hell? <laughs> this isn't newspaper print. And then it was like that for uh, the majority of the run. I think it was actually like that for the rest. Not the rest. It was like that for a while, up until issue, I don't remember what issue it was now. One of the issues, it went back to newspaper print, but for a while there it was glossy, and I was like super frustrated, because I was like, no, get rid of this glossy paper. Um, actually, I think this run might have finished off with glossy. I don't think it went back to newspaper print until like issue 44. Yeah, this is all still glossy. So my other future volumes... Uh, it starts off with glossy, but then luckily they end through like issue 110 or whatever it is. It all ends with newspaper print, which is exciting, <laughs> but it kind of goes with this glossy, which is kind of a bummer. But anyway, um, got an ad there for Billy Zane in the Phantom Slam Evil. I don't care what anybody says. That was a fun movie. I still enjoy it. If it's on, I'll watch it. I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way to watch it, but if it's on... I will definitely watch it. So this one, I'm actually going to leave Dust Jacket list for a little while. I'm actually just going to have Mike do Dust Jackets for the Impulse. Uh, binds currently. I'm going to hold off on Superboy until I get it completely bound. I have all the other volumes uh, prepped and ready to go. I just got to send them off. Um, and then when I get those back, then I'll see about having, oh, see about having Mike uh, create a nice dust jacket there for me i did have him go ahead and uh shave obviously trim all the paper and stuff because i wanted to have like that nice even feel to it but yeah i am so in love with this i'm so so incredibly excited to have these and excited to show you guys these once i get the dust jackets for impulse i'll do another one just covering strictly the impulse binds with the dust jackets on them and uh yeah so stay tuned for more future videos from us and until next time the power is yours